Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'll teach you how to create a beautiful MIS report using a donor chart. See, over here you see the results for sector 1, sector 2, sector 3. Here are the results. If I change them, see what will happen. I've used a dynamic formula called rand between to change the numbers automatically. You'll see it now. See, if the numbers are changing, how these charts are changing. Isn't this cool? See, even the results are changing here. So do you want to learn how to create this chart? You can use it for results of your team, quarters, sectors, stores, anything. And these look beautiful. Isn't it? See, amazing to create such a chart. In fact, you can also go to mylesson.org to download this template and start creating your own charts. You can also buy our courses to become an expert in Excel. Now I've gone to sheet number two and over here I have this data which I will use to create the chart. All right. Now, first of all, I have to create a support column. All right. So that I am able to show this gap. This gap is coming. All right. This gap I need to show for that. I'll create a support column and I'll call it support. Is that all right? <laughs> and what we will do is we'll use a formula 110 minus 90. Simple. So usually we subtract this result from 100, correct? But over here, to get that effect that we are getting of this gap, all right? To get this effect, we need to subtract it with 110. All right, and now I'll copy this formula. Very simple. Now I'll select this and start creating my chart within three minutes. I click on insert. I go to a donor chart and I select it. Now I will right click in the middle over here and click on select data. Now I'll choose switch row to column. As soon as I switch row to column, I have now three donor charts for each sector. Earlier, we were having only two donor charts. Let me show you. I'm pressing a control Z. So we were having only two donor charts. In fact, we should have three donor charts. To do that, we click in the middle over here, do a right click, click on select data and switch row to column. Click OK. There we are. Simple. Now, click on the chart, go to format, go to shape outline and no outline. Shape fill no fill now we get a transparent chart now increase the size all right like this click on chart title delete it click on one two delete it all right now i'll click on any of these donuts do a right click click on format data series and now i will first of all change the angle to 180 degrees so what this will do, this will bring this line over here, this straight line, so that later on I can have this section over here. All right. And then I will increase the size of these donuts. So I'll make them 45% donut hole size. See? Now, since blue section is represented by the results and the this brown section is represented by the support, so I'll click on this brown section, go to fill and click on no fill. Similarly for this one, no fill. And for this one, no fill. Sorry. <laughs> I have to double click on the brown one. No fill. Now your basic chart is ready. See, all we need to do is add those bars over here. See, 90, if I make it 75, if I make it 100, there is this gap, correct? This gap is to cater to that bar, all right? So now I'll make it 90 again. Now we will start inserting those bars. Before that, we need to choose colors. See over here, I have given these colors. See them? This is light, slightly dark over here, then darker over here. Light, dark, darker, light, dark, darker. So how do we do that? All right. Now I'll click on any of these. All right. Go to fill and go to gradient fill. 
all right and over here i'll get gradient stops we should have two stops if you have more than two stops click on that stop and click on delete all right you can add new stops from here or delete a stop from here also so the first stop whatever color say for example i want it yellow so start with a bright color then click on the ending stop and choose a darker version of the same color see similarly for this one double click go to gradient go to the starting stop choose a color say blue a bright version and then ending a dark version of blue all right this one we will make green gradient fill first stop has to be bright green and the last stop has to be darker green now our chart is almost ready i'll close this now i will go ahead and click on this go to format and in the shape outline i'll choose no outline over here also i will choose no outline i'll select the innermost donut and choose no outline correct now there is no outline now i'll select this one again go to shape effects give it a shadow effect select this one shape effects shadow effect this one also we need to give a shadow effect simple so this will start looking some really cool chart that you are trying to create now let's bring that bar over here so i'll go to insert i'll go to shapes and i'll add a rectangular shape i'll come and draw it over here once it is drawn you are you will be able to adjust the length and the height from this one yeah, adjust it like this all right and increase the width are we good yeah, slightly lesser i believe that is it now we click on this go to format and over here in the outline choose no outline in the effect choose shadow and this one and then give it a color of the same one the darker green okay so go to shape fill and give a darker green color to it there we are now click it copy it control c click outside press control v bring it over here now all you need to do is just change the color click over here go to format give it a blue color again copy it click outside press v control v and we will have another color isn't this simple super easy just increase the height format and we'll give it a yellowish color you can adjust the heights of these accordingly so that these look nice all right spend some time with this setting the heights is important so that the look should be there like i have done over here see now your chart is almost almost ready we need to add some beautification elements all right first of all we need to add some text over here we have to get some text over here all right like the way i have got it result sector sector 1 result is 76 how do we do this well we'll first type is equal to over here select this cell and then enter this ampersand sign open the quotes type in result is close the quotes enter the ampersand sign again give a space and choose this cell sector 1 result is 90 so there is no space over here so i'll add a space i'll add a space sorry here and we are done all right now i'll select this and copy it over here so we are getting the results if i make it 85 see now i'll insert this text over here using a text box from the insert tab i'll click a in a text box select it like this and then go to the formula bar type equal to click over here and your answer is over here 
Simple, I'll drag it over here. Now we'll set the colors. We'll click over here, go to format and choose shape fill as no fill, shape outline as no outline. There you are. Now we will copy this again. Control C, Control V, bring it over here. One more Control V, bring it over here. Now we will change them. So this one is E3. This should be what E4, correct? So I click over here and make it E4. This should be E5, right? Cell numbers E5. See, E3, E4, E5. I'll bring them like this and now I'll reduce their width like this and now I'll click on this green bar and reduce the size slightly like this and this one I'll increase. So this is how we can create such beautiful looking charts now for this inside thing. All right, what I'll do is I will go to insert, I'll go to shape, I'll bring a oval shape from here and I'll draw it over here. All right, and now I'll fit it to match this. Like this. And then I'll click on it, go to a shape fill and choose light gray. And then I'll give it an effect of shadow. And outline should be no outline. There you are. Simple chart, beautifully made. You can change the colors of these also. Select them, give them a white font. You're done. Isn't this cool? Well, if you like this video, do click on the thumbs up sign and do share it with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, then you are missing a lot because I create regular videos regularly. And if you want to be updated whenever I create a new video, then subscribe to the channel. And if, if you have already subscribed, then thank you so much. All my love to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to go to mylesson.org to download the files. Until the next video, this is your guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.